Welcome to Space Kitchen. Today we are making a delicious soup. We're making a Paraná squash with carrots and all these delicious fresh ingredients. Olive oil, cayenne pepper, salt, sweet onions, Paraná squash, celery, dill, ginger, garlic, carrots. Good ingredients make a delicious meal. Right now we are gonna cut the onions. We have four medium onions and uh, that's how we're gonna start with the soup. The onions are clean. Now we're just gonna dice them to small pieces. Right now we are putting one third of a cup of olive oil. We're gonna leave the heat between medium and high. Put the onions with the olive oil. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna saute the onions for maybe five minutes, seven minutes. It's always good to wash the celery between the, the sticks because sometimes sand gets in it. And so we're gonna dice one cup of celery. So all together we have two cups of celery diced. You see by cooking them together with the onions, they're gonna create this nice uh, juice. Six cloves of uh, garlic. And you see now when the celery is cooking with the onions, we're gonna add the garlic after that. And this way, the garlic, it does not get burned. So we're just gonna slice the garlic to small pieces. So we're gonna put it right, but they get a nice color to it. Now we're gonna load down the garlic a little bit from medium and high, we're gonna bring it down to medium and low because of the one, the garlic to get burned. So we are using baby carrots and the reason why I'm using baby carrots, I had them in my refrigerator. So I don't like to waste food. So you can use regular carrots. Three cups of carrots. The only thing is you use regular carrots, you gotta be sure you slice them. You can't put the whole carrot in it. Later on, what we're gonna do, we're gonna use a hand blender. We're gonna blend all the vegetables together. That's the reason why I didn't cut the baby carrot. Now we add in eight cups of cold water. So now we're gonna turn back the heat between medium and high. Let me give it a stir. So now we're gonna cover the soup. Right now we're gonna do the banana squash. We're gonna cut it and add it to the soup. The first thing, what I like to do, even I'm gonna peel it, I like to wash it real quick. You need a good knife. What I like to do. You see smaller pieces you do, it's easier to peel it. We even gotta cut it a little smaller. You know, banana squash, stuff you know so you got to have a good knife and you got to be careful you see what i like to do like this boom you see this way you don't get cut so we're going to dice it we're going to add the banana squash together with the rest of the vegetables so we use four cups of banana squash so right now we have cooking is the onions, the celery, garlic, carrots, banana squash. Lid on it. We got the fresh ginger. I'm cutting this ginger very, very small because I don't want you to find big pieces of, of ginger in the soup. So this is two tablespoons of fresh ginger. Wow, it smells delicious. So I'm adding to the soup two more cups of cold water. So you have all together 10 cups. And the reason I'm doing that is I don't want the soup to be too thick. I'm gonna give it a stir. And we're, not, and we're gonna let it boil. All right, this is uh, 30 minutes boiling after we add the banana squash. So what we're going to do right now, we're gonna add a few spices. We're gonna blend it, and we're gonna let it simmer for 15 minutes. 
we're gonna add one fourth of a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. That's gonna give it a nice kick. And we're gonna add one tablespoon of sea of salt. It's the same thing with salt. If you like more salt, you can add more salt. If you like less, you can put less. One third of a cup of olive oil. This is option. This is a very good olive oil, and uh, I like the taste of it. We're gonna bring the fire to low. We're gonna get a hand blender. This is a great tool to have. And you're gonna let it simmer and that way the whole soup is gonna to come together. You can do this with a blender if you don't have a, a hand blender. Dill has a flavor nothing else has, nor another herb, and especially in soups, it really makes the soup taste really good. So you gotta take the leaves, you know, you leave the stems out. So we've been simmering the soup for 15 minutes. It looks really good. Now what we do, we're gonna shut off the heat and we're just gonna put the, the dill inside. We're gonna let us, I'm gonna stir it a little bit, be sure it goes everywhere. I mean, look how pretty that looks now. You know, you have a winner. We're gonna let it cool down for a few minutes and then we're gonna sit down and enjoy this delicious soup. It's butternut squash, it's carrots, yes. ginger, dill, I think when you talk about those uh, ingredients, it's like you light up. It's, it's really good. It's a little spicy, yeah, but, but it's great. You got the cayenne pepper kick. Yes. So kind of like, ah, but in a good way, you know what I mean? Oh yeah, definitely. But what I like, the creaminess of the soup, right? It's very smooth. How can you do this without butter, yes. without cream? It doesn't have any cream, any butter. But you can see, you know, the consistency of the soup is very thick. It's very, uh, it has a, it has a body. Satisfaction. Yes. And then the ingredient we didn't talk is the fresh deal. Good energy, good food. Every day. Bam.